93 reef blue 30,000 miles vortex s trim <laughs> Guys, I've got a fun one for you today. Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and if you saw the thumbnail and the title guys, I've got a pretty exciting one to show you. Matter of fact, the most popular video on my channel is also based on the same type of car. So I'm hoping that this out doesn't views. And sorry, we're outside, it's a little bit windy. I'm over here at uh, Fox Mustang Restoration. This car is actually owned by Eric. He works over at Power Curve where Tar Heel Fox was dyno tuned at. My car, my blue convertible. Check it out guys, 93 Reef Blue, one year only car. As you can see, gorgeous, gorgeous car, and there's a big story behind this car. Eric has been chasing this car since 1996. That was kind of when it was originally put together, and some of it has changed since then, but you guys might have noticed the big monster tack there, right? That was a very 90s thing to do, and that's pretty cool. I like that. This, you can tell this car was built in the 90s. I mean, look at the cow. It's got a big four-inch cow. Got huge, huge tires on the back. We're looking at 275 50 R15s on the Will Pro Stars looks great obviously it's been tuned uh, by power curve but just kind of getting into the details a little bit it's a little bit windy guys let me get in here with you break some of this wind up there we go i'm inside the car here but yeah so kind of the story behind this is eric knew of the car since 1996. between 96 and 99 it went to the other owner of the car pretty much stayed in the same state and eric kept asking this guy because the guy never drove it he was like hey you're gonna sell the car are you gonna sell the car he didn't want to sell it took him all the way to 2016 but he did finally buy the car pretty much as you see also it's an original 30,000 miles guys 30,000 miles uh, it does have the tremic 3550 transmission and it's just not all show you can probably tell by the gauges and stuff it has a lot of go i'm gonna pop the hood here in a second but look how immaculate this interior is and in reef blue as you guys know reef blue is one year only right so but that's pretty cool. He's been chasing this car essentially since 99. It took him that long. He's had about four years. He has not made too many changes on it. Uh, one of the recent changes we're gonna talk about here in a second, when I pop the hood, let me go ahead and pop the hood and I'll show you guys what's underneath. There you go, guys, take a look. We've got a 306 here, got Liberty heads on it. They're kind of like Elderbrock heads. We also have a TrickFlow Stage 2 cam. We've got the Stage 1 cam in my car. This actually has a Stage 2 and it sounds really good as you heard from the beginning we're gonna get to hear it again it looks like long tube headers and yeah, the long tubes do connect up to an h-pipe and we got spin tech mufflers on here but the thing you guys really care about is probably right here we got a vortex s trim here running 10 pounds of boost you see it's got the elbrock performer rpm2 intake on it it actually had a cobra intake for the longest time this is one of the things that eric did to the car is he switched from the cobra to the elbrock and picked up about 45 horsepower at the wheels which really if you think about it it's not too surprising remember i had my 331 with the gt40 intake that's similar to the cobra style and that intake as you know doesn't flow as well and guys he picked up about 45 horsepower at the wheels the car made just under 500 498 corrected it's going to be like 501 so we're pretty much at the limits of the stock block, which Eric knows and he told me all about, but that's okay. He doesn't really punish the car at all. I mean, it's a 30,000 mile beautiful car. Why would you? But this is exactly pretty much what most of us want, right? You got an old push rod, solid built to the max with a Vortec 10 PSI. 
It is just fantastic. As far as the rear end, the axle tubes are welded, 373 gears. He's got upper and lower control arms done to it. The control arms, as you would probably guess, south side control arms. And yeah, she will move, especially with that 3550, that rear end. It's just a beautiful car. I would really, I've been asking for a while to do it. Even has, I forgot to mention this, it's original paint. See, you got the pinstripe there. Original paint. Now, obviously the hood has been done. It's not the stock hood. They did a little clear on the front to match that up, but man, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Does have the roll cage as well in it. It was a six point, but he's removed this part. As you can see right here, he's in the process of having the ones that open up for easy entry, easy access. Got some good seat belt harnesses in here for the go fast. I mean, look at these map pockets, guys. You do not see map pockets like this in this kind of shape, unless it's a low mile car, right? I mean, the seats, they look brand new to me. Look brand new. That one has just a tiny bit of wear, but I mean, come on guys, come on. Fantastic, and it's a coupe, right? I mean, everybody wants a coupe. So I just love the story behind it though, because Eric, he kept pestering this guy. He, he would go and he asked the guy at least every month to go over there and he'd see this beautiful Mustang, Fox body, not really being driven, right? Wasn't being driven and he's like, come on, give it to me, give it to me. And he finally did, he, he finally gave in. Uh, and Eric's had the car for about four years. And like I said, he hasn't had to do too much to it, done a few things. And that's cool that that intake picked up so much horsepower. Of course, you can see they got the MSD box in there. But yeah, the, the tune on it is right. And this is kind of like for a 306, 500, basically 500 to the tires. How can you ask more fun than that? And a, a coupe, it's only 3,000 pounds. So it's really neat. What I am going to do for you guys, I know you heard it run a little bit. We're going to have uh, him start it up again, listen to it. Maybe see it drive just around the circle here so you get a better look at that. But it's a pretty awesome car. And again, it was tuned at Power Curve where I got my car tuned. So if you're a local in the Charlotte area or Charlotte Mooresville, anywhere in North Carolina, honestly, I would come from other states because I've had my car tuned twice by Rob. No problems. He does a great job. Mass air tune. The throttle body on it's 75 like mine, but the mass air is actually a 90 millimeter mass air and it's off of a Ford Lightning. That's the same one. I'm talking to Rob. I also have an SSP and I'm building a 331 for it. And I was talking to Rob about it and he said those are the best mass air meters to get because they allow for the most tuning. So if you can find a Ford Lightning 90 millimeter, if you know of one, let me know. I'm trying to get a hold of one. Apparently they make tuning for these mass air cars so much easier. But his right here is tucked down into the fender well. I don't know if you can see it, it's a little dark, but there it is over there, the lightning. And yeah, we'll, we'll have him crank it up. I'll let you listen to this Vortec here, listen to the exhaust and yeah, I just wanna share this with you guys. It's pretty exciting, pretty cool story. Power Curve also sometimes has open events. Of course, they're at Foxtoberfest every year, running on the dyno all day. They're the dyno for that, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, let me have him start it up and we'll give you a listen. That's the classic sound, right? Listen to that Vortec. That's what everybody knows about these cars. They're singing, you know? If you don't, you turn it up. Yeah. That's like a cloud right here. I thought my stage one sounded good, but uh, stage two sounds, I think I'm gonna have to go that way. I also need a supercharger. Let me uh, let me talk to, to Rob and see what he can do for me there on that. <laughs> guys, I just talked to Eric and he is gonna let me ride in the car. So we're gonna go for a ride in it. All right, guys, you're not gonna hear much because it's a loud car. So we're just gonna enjoy the ride. It's all stock suspension in front. I forgot to mention that. It's very uh, street mannered, you know. It, obviously, I know Rob tunes well for my car, but you can tell, you know, it doesn't hurt, have herky jerky. The other thing guys I forgot to point out, you can tell why it's a 30,000 mile car. The ashtray door actually works. <laughs> and there you go guys. <laughs> what can I say? That was probably 
the fastest Fox body I've rode in to date. I do want to say, I think that's the fastest one. Even the Coyote I rode in was not putting out that horsepower to the ground. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, you can check his Instagram out. I will put that up on the screen, Eric's Instagram, so you can check that out. But yeah, this one, this one, that was a lot of fun. I thought I wasn't going to supercharge. This drive kind of changed my mind. So let me know what you guys think. Should I supercharge my car? I don't know. All right, but that's pretty much it on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, and I've got a lot more Fox Body content coming for you guys. And we'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. Let's go ahead and get into the giveaway. Let me show you guys what we're giving away right here. So these are actually spoilers. With the hardware, these are Serbinator ducktail spoilers for hatchbacks. And I've got some pictures to show you what it looks like, but I've got two here that I am giving away. But anyway, I'm gonna put some pictures up so you guys can see what they look like while I'm talking right now. But here is the giveaway that we are doing. This video is going up on Sunday, December 13th. Matt Serbin, the Serbinator, he makes all these. He's just decided to give them away, guys, through the channel. It's awesome that he's doing that. I will have his website linked down below, Serbinator Auto Designs. I will put it up on the screen. Also put it down below in the description so you can check it out. It's pretty cool that he's giving these away. And we're giving away two of them. We're giving away two of them, guys. So all you have to do to win, have a 79 to 93 hatchback. And down below, put what year your Fox Body hatchback is. Again, this doesn't work for coupes. It doesn't work for convertibles, it's just for the hatches. And so if you have a hatch, 79 to 93, any hatch, GT or LX, put the year down below. If you do that, I'm gonna be doing a drawing. The drawing is gonna actually happen on December 27th. So you got two weeks from the time this video goes up, guys. Video that comes out on the 27th, I will be putting the winner in. I'll put it right in the comments. I will pin a comment to the top. I'll also put it in the video, whoever the winner is, so you can look for that. In addition to that, I'll put the winner out on my social media as well. I have all that down below, but I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I have TikTok, but I don't really use that anymore. But yeah, it'll be out on all of my social media. I'll do a YouTube community post about it. So if you wanna win, and there's gonna be two winners. Go ahead down below, leave the year of your hatchback, 79 to 93, whatever year you have, put it down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll do the drawing based on that. Big shout out to Matt Serban, Serbinator Auto Designs for giving away these ducktail spoilers for the hatches. That's just awesome.